welcome to this week's video. So it's been a while since I've just sat down and created art as my entire video. Um, so I thought this week that is what I would do. Um, so I have been doing a lot of studio vlogs recently, but um, I wanted to kind of take this week off um, after my market last week. I just wanted to sit down and do some drawing for you guys. So this week I am going to be drawing Tanookis on some really cool uh, paint samples that I got when we were moving into this house. So I will also be talking a little about Tanookis as well um, and why I decided to draw them today. So let's go and get started. For these three illustrations I decided to draw with them using Posca pens on these paint samples. I had already sketched out my designs on each samples so they were ready for me to just paint in with the pens. As the paint sample paper was kind of shiny, it meant that it took a lot of trying to get the paint to stick to it. So I had to do a few layers of each colour, um, but I love how they came out once it finally stuck. They look so bold and bright, um, and I think they're really cute too. Sometimes I do think it was a little bit... I was a little bit impatient and I probably should have waited a little bit more for the paint to dry but I was so excited with how the illustrations were coming out that I just kept drawing when I probably shouldn't yet because it hadn't quite finished drying but I am really happy with how the overall illustrations came out on all three of the paint samples. So everybody has been playing Animal Crossing in lockdown, so if you don't know who Tom Nook is, I would be really surprised. But you might not know what animal he is, lots of people think he is a raccoon, but he's actually a Tanuki. So that's kind of where he gets his name from, um, because his name's Tom Nook. Tanuki, you kind of, kind of see it there, um, get it? <laughs> Tanookis are also known as Japanese raccoon dogs, which is why lots of people think Tom Nook is a raccoon. But actually, they're surprisingly, they aren't um, raccoons or even a dog. They're actually genetically closer to a fox, um, which is kind of surprising considering it does have raccoon dog in the name. Um, and you know how they do look a lot like your average typical raccoon. It does, however, get its name from the raccoon because of the black markings around its eyes, which probably is leads to lots of people getting confused. I think they're really cute and fluffy, and I had a lot of fun drawing them for this video. Tanookis are supposed to be nocturnal, but you see a lot of them during the day as well, as they tend to hang around in pairs, uh, a male and female who will then go on to have children together if they haven't already. But before they find a mate, they will hang around in bigger groups until they find somebody. I only had limited colours available in my Posca pen collection, so I really had to think about what colours I wanted to use and what would complement and contrast well with the background of the illustrations or the paint samples themselves. I also purposely kept some of the background visible through the illustration just to give it that little bit extra colour and kind of bring everything together really well. I definitely think that worked especially well in this illustration um, because I used the whole body um, as the same sample, colour of the sample, which I think looked amazing in the finished piece. I also think this green goes so well with the blue. I think it looks so good on the colours. Um, and I definitely want to do more of these sample illustrations in the future. I'll probably just stick to them um, being posted on my Instagram account. Um, but it's definitely something I want to do more of. This was just such a fun little um, drawing to do. If you want to see more of these illustrations, please let me know down in the comments below because I might just do it. Um, and give me a follow over on Instagram too, so you'll see when I post them. If you haven't been watching my recent studio vlogs slash moving vlogs, which you should totally go and check out after finishing this video, I actually used the pink and blue paint samples featured in this video um, to paint my coffee table and TV stand in my living room. I really like the colours, they're so good and so bright, um, and I was kind of going for a brightly coloured living room with lots of different colours in there that kind of all worked well together. Um, so these two colours worked perfectly into that. 
I really think I need to buy some more of these Posca markers because I really do like using them but I think one of the main reasons I don't use them that much is because I don't have many colours. Um, I might have like 10 or 11 or something, I, I really don't have a lot which I think is one of the reasons why I kind of forget about using them. Um, just because, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff I might want to do with them but I might not necessarily feel like I can attempt that thing because I don't have the colours I necessarily want to use but then maybe I should take that as a challenge um, to create art just with the few colours I do have because I do like them and I do really like the art I make with them but we'll just have to see so here's this little blue guy all finished I'm super happy with how he came out so my last illustration is actually not a tanuki, but it's also from Animal Crossing 2. Uh, it's a gyroid, which hasn't been featured in New Horizons, the most recent games, but maybe they will add them into the game in a future update. In Animal Crossing, you can go around digging them up after it rains and collect them. Um, there's a load of different types you can collect in different shapes, colours and sizes um, and a lot of people just like collecting them um, and showing them off to their friends. There's also Lloyd um, who's a little gyroid as well who you can talk to who will help you build a community project or give you tools you may need or anything like that. Personally, I've never really liked them that much in the game. I've never really got into collecting them and I've kind of just, you know, I always sell them off to Tom Nook. Um, but I thought it would be cute to draw one of these on the paint samples and it kind of brings the whole Animal Crossing theme together. I do think they're a little bit creepy as well because they are based on these statues called Haniwa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so in Japan, these Haniwa statues were buried with the dead. Though not of all of them actually look like the joyroids, and we see we see in the game, and they are often a lot more detailed than this. And here he is finished. I really like how the metallic Posca marker I used came out on him. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I definitely had fun doing it, especially since it was so different, I've never drawn on paint samples before, um, and it was really fun using Posca markers again, as it's been such a while since I've used them, um, I keep forgetting about them, so it's definitely something I want to do more of in the future, I think they would be really good to make some stickers with, maybe? Um, and some little cool um, prints as well, but we will see in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below telling me um, whether you've used Posca markers or not um, and what I should draw next with them. Don't forget to hit my subscribe button down below uh, as well as the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified for when I next upload. It really means a lot when you guys interact with the video so please give it all the likes and shares that you can um, as it really does help me out. I upload every single week uh, now on Sundays um, so do come back here next week for another video from me. If you want to check out more content from me I've got my links down below, you can find my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook all my other accounts um, as well as my shop as too if you want to pick up any of my art. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!